The History of Radio in Guatemala. In 1978, the British group The Buggles composed Video Killed the Radio Star, anticipating the disappearance of radio due to video. Today, similar claims are made about applications, but radio is still alive after more than 100 years. Beginnings of Radio in Guatemala. In 1922, the first radio receivers were manufactured in Guatemala. Enrique Gill was one of the first to build one, followed by others in Amatitlan, Puerto Barrios, Totani Coppin, and Quetzaltenango, Julio Caballeros Paz. A pioneer of Guatemalan radio broadcasting, conducted experiments and, in 1929, made the first radio communication tests. According to a reliable bibliographic source, before TGW, Julio Caballeros founded TGA, the first Guatemalan radio station. With evidence in newspaper archives, the birth of the national radio, TGW Lavas de Guatemala. On September 15, 1930, President Lazaro Chacon inaugurated TGW, known as the Voice of Guatemala. Guatemala received the TG code from the International Telecommunication Union. Initially, TGW operated from the General Directorate of Telegraphs. Both TGA and TGW went on air with artisanal and even improvised equipment crafted by Julio Caballeros Paz, who deserves credit as the father of Guatemalan radio broadcasting. Expansion of Radio In 1931, TGW reached adequate volume levels and the first musical programs and newscasts began broadcasting. The first newscast, El Team Po, started on December 18, 1930. In 1937, Miguel Angel Asturias founded Diario del Air, the first radio newspaper in TGW, which combined news with poetic and commercial phrases, radio during the Democratic Spring. With Juan José Arevalo's rise to power in 1944, radio in Guatemala flourished and supported national art. During this period, the creation of news stations was permitted, and AM and FM frequencies expanded. Radio broadcasting faces a setback. In 1954, with the so-called liberation, radio changed its theme due to political reasons, adopting imported programming from the United States. Notable events in the radio era. In 1930, the golden age of Guatemalan song began. In the 1950s, artists like Paco Perez and Gustavo Adolfo Palma gained fame. TGW was declared cultural heritage of the nation on May 18, 2012. National and Children's Radio Theater originated in Guatemala. Miguel Angel Asturias' radio newspaper had morning national news and evening international news broadcasts. Thanks to Julio Panetta DX, Guatemala, and 73 to all.